Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hey there. In this video, I want to show you how to track your expenses by customer. The reason for this is maybe you just want to know why you bought a thing, or maybe you want to see your profitability by customers. Let me begin by showing you an expense. So I'll click plus new in the upper left hand corner. Under the header of vendors, I'm going to select expense. I'll fill in the expense like normal. Who did I pay? Where'd the money come from? All of that stuff you already know how to do. The only thing that I'm going to suggest, which is different than you might currently be doing, is to click on the customer drop down and identify which customers this expense relates to. Let me take you to a previous expense so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm just going to click on the little clock in the upper left hand corner. I'll go to expense and I'm just going to show you the last one I was working on. So with this a payment was made to ABC Corp for $900. 800 of it was going to Square customer and 100 goes to demo sub demo number one. The reason that I was doing this is that I was demonstrating for somebody how they can take an expense and allocate that expense to different customers. The customer doesn't see this. The customer doesn't know about this. This is just for internal. You can do this with the expense form. You can do it with bills. You can do it with checks. So we saw expense. I'll show you a check. There's customer and then I'll show you bill just so you can see how it's in all these spots. So whichever method, whatever you're doing within your QuickBooks, you can get the customer to appear here. It doesn't matter to me what you're doing. Everybody has a different approach for how to manage their bookkeeping. They have a different workflow. I'm not here to say, oh, you have to use expense. You have to use check. I just wanted you to see you can you can use this no matter what form or template you're using. If you're watching this video and you don't see customer on the right hand side, I'm just going to show you how to enable that. So in the upper right hand corner, you click on the gear. You'll go to account and settings on the left hand side. You'll select expenses and then up here where it says bills and expenses. The thing that I've turned on is this third column down. It says track expenses and items by customer. I didn't make them billable because I'm not showing my customer any of this. I'm just tracking it. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have any topics you'd like to see me explore in different videos, let me know. Thanks and have a great day.